What's poppin', y'all? This is DJ with One Shot Game. And you know how the motto go. You get one shot at life, but a lifetime to, you know, learn all the game you need to empower your life to succeed and, you know, be great. It takes you wanting to learn as much as you want in life to grow. You can't just be subjected to what you think you know because there's so much more to know out there. So... This video is going to be on when I had my daughter. I just recently ended a four-part series on how I was in love with a woman. Now I'm going to switch timelines and jump to me having my daughter, who is 12 years old. I'm going to explain how this happened and, and everything that came along with it. This was just a whole nother scenario and a whole nother life experience I had to deal with. Now, before I start the video, I'm gonna say and be honest that I have a respect for my child's father. I have nothing bad to say about him. He's a good dude. When I had my daughter, we were not in love. I was not in love with him, I'm gonna be honest. I was going through a very crunchy, toxic, rough patch with my first love and I was very much in love with her but it was so toxic we were going through a lot that when that starts to happen that's when people start thinking about talking to other people like just be real with yourself that's how that happens you in love you you attached you got your energy over here. You love them. You rocking with them, but you're getting on my nerves. So I want to go somewhere where it's less chaotic and less stressful until they get to know who you are. So when people cheat on who they're with for other people, it's just for temporary satisfaction. You want to know why? Because you're hoping to get something smooth and less toxic with this new person that you meet and they will give it to you while you guys are in the honeymoon stage while they don't really know who you are until they get to really know who you are then everything that you had going on in the current relationship you with is going to happen in that relationship as well but people think oh it's a new person i'm not going to get the same stress related toxicity or, you know, uh, a possessiveness or controlling this I get over here in this new relationship. You will in due time, but it's not going to start off like that. So in your mind, you thinking it's good. When people get their feelings involved and people start spending time and people start having sexual relations, that's when shit get real. But it takes time before you acquire that. So the same issue and trauma you gonna have you have in that first relationship is also going to be in that second relationship. So uh, me and my child's father hooked up through myspace and this was when myspace was slowly closing down we uh hooked up with each other right before myspace ended and 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 now it was facebook reached out to me we had seen each other a couple times we talked to each other a couple times and in my mind he was cool he was gentle he was smooth he was not giving me problems like my first relationship was. But I also had to understand this woman knew me. <laughs> she knew everything about me. We were in a toxic relationship towards the end because we were evolving and changing and going through things. She was getting tired of my mess. Not only that, she wasn't a saint and I wasn't a saint, but we had been together for so long that we actually knew who each other was. As whereas my child's father barely even knew me. So he wasn't giving me the whole toxic stress and everything that she was giving me. And 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 the reason for that is because at this point, I had had so much history with this woman. I didn't want to cheat on her with another woman. Granted, women like me. And granted, I had a few road bumps in our relationship. But I was in love with her. And I didn't want to go and start another relationship with another woman on her. So I said, fuck it. I'm going to go see what it's like to be with a guy. Just because I had been in a relationship with this woman for so long. She was my first love. I just was like, you know what? Let me see what this is about. 
You think you have control of your life, but sometimes God has a destined path for you that you, you, you know, don't even see coming and it just hits you out of nowhere. I never expected to grow an attraction to a man, but his energy was calming. His energy was soothing. His energy wasn't all this toxic, you know, drama I was getting from this woman that I loved so much together for eight years. And over the course of the eight years, it just got really toxic. We were young, you know? So <laughs> while I'm in it back and forth, like a teeter totter with this woman, I still love her. It's, it's toxic and we're trying to get through it, but we ain't quite making it, but we still love each other though. And we are trying to see if it's anything there still for us to hold on to. We still energetically connected, but the, the, the water has ran out of that well a little bit. And we're trying to hold on for dear life, proving not to work more than it's proving to work. So I'm over here, right? He's, he's doing the typical guy thing, disheveled from this toxicness over here. I'm willing to accept whatever. I ain't even going to lie. You know, man, he's soothing. We smoking in the car. He's pulling up on me. We smoking in the car. You feel me? We chilling. We talking. We saying little surface-based stuff. Nothing too deep. And then it was this one particular time where I was chilling at the house and I was getting ready to go to CCTRP at the time. And I was cooking. He hit me up like, what you doing? I'm like, I'm cooking a steak and, you know, some, some corn and some mashed potatoes. I was like, do you want some? He was like, yeah. He came <laughs> to get a plate, right? I guess it was so good or whatever. He called me as soon as he was done, like 20 minutes later, like, I'm going to come get you, right? He comes to get me. We had sex. I get pregnant. Um, I was not expecting this to happen due to the fact that, you know, again, like I said, sometimes the universe has uh your life more under control than you think that's why i'm saying i'm bred for talking to women straight up because i have had relations with males but it never ended in pregnancy so i was like you know what hey and some people would think of that as luck but i don't so this one particular time i decided to do this with this man and i get pregnant which is beyond me but the the crisis i was going through before that I kind of like manifested. I ain't even gonna lie. I'm not gonna tell y'all what I what I did to manifest that, but I but I did. I was like, oh damn, I'm pregnant. So I go to the clinic. I take a test. They tell me I'm pregnant, right? So once I tell him I'm pregnant, he is like, oh, in the regular nigga stage, it's not. You know what I'm saying? Why would you have a baby by me? You know what I'm saying? You don't even know me. Da -da 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 My receptors to men and how it just clicked back on and, and, and lined up with everything that I had for my life when he said that. Because it was like, fuck, I should have knew that this was going to be the typical response that I was going to get. I should have knew. Something in me told me, you feel me, this is what, what was going to happen. And I knew it. Again, us both being adults, it's like when you're... If you're over 18 and you don't wear protection when you go out there having unprotected sex, you do know that you can make a baby. That is how you make babies, right? So since we know that, why is it expected for a woman to get an abortion when she gets pregnant? Shouldn't you wear a condom? So it's basically like the man saying, it's okay for me to have sex unprotected. And if you get pregnant, I, you need to have an abortion. Like, that's weird. That's the generation we grew up in, and it's weird. It's not all men are like that, but a majority of them are. And it just repeated the whole cycle for me. And I, I just got upset. I was just totally just irritated by the fact that you would even say that to me. And the fact that he didn't question him being the dad until later on. But that's the thing, though. You didn't really know about me. Because if you did, you would have knew that I was rocking with a woman the whole entire time before I even started talking to you. So I know 155, 60% that this baby is yours. There's nothing you can tell me because I was not messing with any men before I started talking to you. But see, that's the thing. You didn't know nothing about me. You didn't know that part of my life before you met me. You know, shacked up, it was good and you couldn't get enough. And then I got pregnant 
And even while I was pregnant, I still decided to sex with this man. So on my part, I could have been smarter, not really, you know, having any self about myself at that time either. I was in a toxic relationship and I was trying to, you know, just use someone to diffuse that. But really, I'm still in love. In before in the in the beginning stages when I got pregnant, I'm I'm taking the Amtrak to Hayward. I mean to Oakland to go see her. I'm still in love. You feel me? I told her. I just blatantly told her I'm pregnant. You feel me? She was shocked. I don't know how you could mess with someone unprotected, but she was still there for me. But my heart was there, you know, but I was over here at, in the same sense. And his mind, he just was, you know, you just how we grew up in that era. If you were raised in the streets as a man, having multiple women and having sex with multiple women is the thing. You know, and if they get pregnant, you don't know me. It was just sex. Get an abortion. This is the first time I was pregnant. Absolutely not. I'm keeping my baby. But in the course of that, I didn't give him no hard time. I wasn't stressing him out. I wasn't pressuring him. I'm going to the appointments by myself. And, and I went to a few with my mom. But otherwise, I'm doing me by myself. Pressuring you for nothing. You end up in jail a few times. I'm still supportive. I'm supportive of you in jail while I'm out to eat with my first love. And I got caught and she got hella mad. Listen, <laughs> Deidre was, hey, I'm telling you, I, I don't mean to have the art of persuasion and loving people the way I do because of the fact that I do that. I can get a lot of people wrapped up in me and make a mistake or I, I pivot in a different direction. They have a hard time accepting that. I'm sorry. That's just who I am. But I'm at a stage in my life now where, you know, when I get in a relationship with someone and that time comes, I'm they're, they're not going to have to worry about none of that because I'm, I'm over that. I know what to give my energy to and what not to. So, I'm, I'm, listen, baby is growing. I already got a name. I know that my child's father is the daddy, no matter how much his typical response is. He's not the father, but I have pictures of him with my baby when she was younger. So, in his mind, he knew, but your typical response by not having anyone to show you the right way to live life you you'll automatically think and want a DNA test. That's automatic response. And I put myself through that, even though I knew that I wanted to avoid that in life because that is not something that I wanted to go through in life. And I put myself through it anyway. We did that for a minute and it was like more so you have some men that hang around their niggas all the time, but then as soon as they go to jail, the first thing they do is reach out to a woman, and that's crazy to me. Don't make no sense, which probably should tell y'all that maybe y'all should have more respect for women because those are going to be the ones that you're going to need in serious situations. Your partners may have you sometimes, but very rarely. They got to really rock with you for real. But anyway, I put myself through that situation, right? And what really got to me the most is when I called him, and I asked him, can you come up to the hospital while this baby is being born? You know what he said to me? He said he can't come to the hospital because he has a warrant, right? When you come up to the hospital, they don't even ask for your name. All they do is, all you tell them is that you uh, come in here for this person to see the baby. So you lied to me and that hurt, like for real, that really hurt. And and. I can't even be mad because I put myself through something I didn't want to go through. You know, only because I my mental was all in different places at the time. But then I, I called my first love. She got a ride all the way from Oakland and came to the hospital and was there when I had my baby. To me, shows how people really rock with people and how people really don't. And even to this day, like, I have to have a relationship with my child's father because that's my child's father. It's been rocky, like, for for the beginning stages of her life, still humping around. You know what I'm saying? I got pregnant second time after that, but I had an abortion. And it'll be times that I was working in Vallejo, coming back up here, I call him 
we hook up, we do whatever, you know what I'm saying? Have a relationship like that. But that relationship stopped when I got out of prison. You feel me? When I got out of prison and I knew that it involved in my child's life, she needs her dad as well. So because she's had no one but my grandma at this time, I'm about to bring it back together. So I call him and reach out to him. He don't want to believe that my daughter is his. So, you know, the typical male response is to ask everybody outside of him if the baby look like him and you got people telling him, you know, his little crew, yeah, that she look like you. That's your daughter. She look like you. So he eventually came to my grandmother's house and started to form a bond with my child, our child. You know what I'm saying? And that... You know what I'm saying? Put us in. We had to go through the toxicness. Let's just say my child's father has been through my toxic BS with me in order to solidify his spot for being with daughter in his daughter's life. And it it, it, it has been a lot. I can't even be mad at some of the toxic situations we have been in together. But he created this child together. And I'd be damned if I had to her through life by herself i'm willing to do it because i'm a mom and i'm <laughs> i'm built for it but at the same time i don't think males realize the part of them that their daughter needs and that is the masculinity that comes with every single person in the world it's a feminine and masculine inside every single person but when that father is out of that you know little girl or little boy's life they lose that masculinity and that determines what happens to them going forward i'm gonna do my best to raise my daughter the right way history dna masculinity femi femininity is all tied to a single person and that can determine their choices in life so i need you to be a part of her life but you're not going to disrespect me in the process and sometimes when you just surface level get to know somebody and y'all start shacking up and having kids together it comes with a lot and i'm a prime candidate for uh being a victim to it at that time i'm not a victim no more you got me fucked up for people out there that feel like that the reason why you are having problems with this uh child's father or child's mother is because the generation we grew up in we went from sexual attraction to fucking we knew about condoms we knew they're a form of protection but half of us didn't use them and we never thought to use them and we all know that babies come out of that we don't know each other so as this child is is growing up we getting mad at her because she's acting out in certain things of the person we had a baby with but we don't know them so we don't know why they're acting that way that's because you didn't get a chance to know them it's important that mothers and fathers establish a connection or be together if you guys are going to birth a child because I'm telling you right now, it can cause a lot of static. And sometimes they are together. Like sometimes when you have a kid with someone, sometimes in relationships are two people that are together. But when a, relation, when a baby is born now... I think it causes friction. You're requiring so much of a person that probably don't even know how to be a parent. And it causes so much. Now you're relating how to be a parent to how you grew up. And that's where the confusion get in. Because now you requiring too much of me. And I don't even know how to get at. I never planned on giving it to anybody. It's a weird way the world works. But that is how that happened. Sometimes women have the, you know the personality to attract both sexes and again men don't see nothing wrong with a woman being with a woman i don't know why but they still think it's cool for them to you know, have sexual intercourse with their baby's mother or their girlfriend or whoever or but to me a relationship is a relationship if i'm in a relationship it, it doesn't matter with another man with a woman i need you to respect that because me Having any type of dealings with you is disrespectful to my relationship. I grew up in a society and a world where people will completely, I'm your friend, try to act like they're your friend so they can hit it too. And everybody just humping on each other. It's weird. You got to have your own boundaries and know that that's not cool. Now I'm in a space in my life where I know what I want. I know. You, and, and a lot of women 
are are strong boy and sexy at the same time because if 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 i don't get that in my life i'm gonna finesse you not intentionally but just because that's how i am i'm gonna do that with somebody i want somebody to be like hey you know what that ain't cool you need to switch that up real quick is it not only is it sexy you feel me it's 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 sexy you have to understand a lot of people are not strong in themselves don't love themselves so how could they properly be able to love you like that you know so my experience with my child's father i just was completely i'm over it now i'm done i don't want more kids I don't want to be involved with a man no disrespects i hope you find the love of your life it's just not gonna be me <laughs> I already had that intention set out, but in the course of me running to somebody else to avoid some other situation, I ended up being pregnant. And and we were both toxic when we had this baby, so you can't even make it seem like, oh, I'm just messed up or something like that. You can't do that. So that's how that happened. You know, I've, I've, I had a crush on one boy that lived in Vallejo. Whew. I had a crush on him. He, like, he, if I would have got with him, I probably would have ended up heterosexual, like, for real. But that didn't go as planned as either, because the status them days for them growing up in Vallejo was how many women that they can put. Like, and I just wasn't into that. Like, that, that, and once I knew that about you, it just turned me off. I just wasn't attracted to you at that point, because you ain't trying to get to know me. You're just trying to get to know the box, and the box is going to get you sprung period. Once I, I had the dealings with my child's father and we created my daughter together, I respect him, support him, never let anybody disrespect him. I will be there if he need me. But as far as a romantic relationship, that's out. I know what I want. I'm, I'm solid in where I'm trying to go. And the only person that has to stand on that is me because you will get tested. You feel me? A lot of times in child's mother and child's father relationships they think they gonna forever always be able to have sexual intercourse just because y'all had a baby together absolutely not you know what i'm saying i'm one of those people i'm not trying to go that route and i'm all for women empowerment i know what's gonna make a woman go crazy and because i know that i know that any woman that deals with me or knows how to make a woman go crazy as well is gonna do the same to me. That's what I want. Not only that, it's it's the energy type of thing. I don't have nothing against males at all. For y'all, I'll be there. I'll be the feminine side of me that you need me to be. You know, as far as a romantic relationship, that's not what I'm aiming for or looking at. You know, and and that's how that happened. Just basically being knocked off the train tracks and being you know, designated towards something else, trying, wanting to try something else because I was just so fed up with the toxicness over here. But I mean, what's real love without toxic? You got to eventually grow and realize that toxic ain't cool. You know, now I'm single. I'm, I'm rocking and rolling and getting to learn me and myself. But when that time comes, <laughs> I know exactly what I want you feel me and things have changed so that's my uh life right there that's that's how it happens and i'm pretty sure it's like that for a lot of women these days there's a lot of women at this current period in life that have rocked with men and are now lesbian or they're they like both sexes and that's fine but i'm i refuse i refuse i'm not doing that like i cannot mess with a woman that you feel me wants to take hot dogs on Wednesdays and Thursdays and then eat peaches on Friday and Saturday. That's just too much cross-contamination. And is there somebody out there that likes that, but it ain't me. You know what I'm saying? I need mine all about me. You feel me? All about what it is and know that this is what it is. You feel me? Because I promise you I'm going to take you to the highest heights that you can reach, but I'm not tolerating certain disrespect. I'm not with all that. You feel me? dabbling in timelines and being over there and being over here i'm not one of them ones so that's all it's about standing firm on what you want i had my experiences in life my daughter's 12 
she knows who, who I'm about and what I like to do, you feel me? And and ultimately, I reverted back to that. I know what my heart is. Sometimes it takes time to figure out yourself and figure out who you are. No disrespect to anybody. I don't dislike anybody. I love everybody. But I know who I am. And that's all that matter at the end of the day. Please make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe, man. That's my story. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people can relate. Don't be scared of your story. Don't be scared of your truth. It made you who you are today. Just know who you are.